Have you ever had an instructor ask you to listen to something and asks if you can hear it and you say, wow, absolutely, yeah, that's crazy, but you can't actually hear it? Uh, it's usually because your stethoscope is not working its best magic for you. So first of all, please don't lie about that because then we can't help you. And especially in a clinical setting, you should never lie about hearing or not hearing a patient's lungs or heart or blood pressure or bowel, whatever sounds, right? Um, but when it comes to the stethoscope itself, my first tip for new stethoscope users is to always make sure that the earpieces are the correct size for your ears. These earpieces come with just like a one size fits all generic -y size, but the stethoscope is usually sent to you with two or three other earpiece sizes. So for my case, for example, I have to replace them every time with the smallest size possible. It's just what works best for my head. I had to do the same thing when I got new headphones, right? It came with different earpiece sizes. I put the smallest ones on. So with the stethoscope, they will twist depending on the brand you have, or they will just kind of yank off and I just pop right off. And then you can find the size that fits you best and put it back on. And sometimes it seems like it's not gonna go back on because how could that possibly fit? But it does. So you put it back on and try again. So please make sure that you are using the right earpiece sizes for your ears.